In the heart of the Tanzanian bush, a remarkable tribe holds ancient wisdom and survival skills passed down through generations. Join us on an extraordinary journey as we delve into the captivating world of the Hadzeb tribe's women as they embark on a daring quest for sustenance hidden beneath the earth's surface. This intimate connection with the land and the earth's offerings is a testament to the Hadzeb women's resilience, resourcefulness, and unwavering bond with nature. Join us on this mesmerizing journey as we witness the indomitable spirit of the Hadzeb tribe's women and their ancient art of unearthing sustenance from the bush. Subscribe to our channel and be part of this extraordinary exploration as we uncover the profound harmony between the Hadzeb people and the abundant gift of the land. As a hunter-gatherer society, the Hadza have no domesticated livestock nor do they grow or store their own food. The Hadza survive by hunting their food with handmade bows and arrows and foraging for edible plants. The Hadza diet is primarily plant-based but also consists of meat, fat, and honey. As men go to hunt wild animals for meat, women are left behind to gather fruits like wild berries and dig root tubers. Some of the root tubers are eaten raw in the bushes while most of them are carried home for roasting where men also have their share. The Hadza are speculated to have lived in their current territory for around 10,000 years and various genetic studies have concluded that the tribe is not related genetically to any other people on earth meaning they are extremely unique. For years, the tribe had been watching their ancestral territory disappear. We told away by encroaching pastoralists and agriculture, the boundaries of the wide open spaces they travel were shrinking, and the Hadza, like other indigenous communities, had no formal claim to ownership. The Hadza face mountain challenges. In the past 50 years alone, they have lost up to 90% of their land. The Hadza do not store food or cut trees to build houses. Instead, they make finding sustenance a daily activity, and build temporary huts made from dry grass. The Hadza have a very primitive approach to marriage. There are no wedding ceremonies, but a couple that sleeps next to each other at the same fire for a few nights may eventually refer to themselves as married. The Hadza are predominantly monogamous, though there is no social enforcement of monogamy. After marriage, the husband and wife are free to live where they decide, which may be with the father or mother's family. Ultimately, the Hadza are regarded as an embarrassment to a modernizing Tanzania when perhaps they should be an example to a society far too dependent on technology. The Hadza, armed with wood bows, hardly seem to have left a footprint on the land in the tens of thousands of years that they have lived among the megafauna of northern Tanzania.
Tourism, the one industry that could possibly protect the Hudson way of life, has introduced alcohol and alcoholism, and due to their prolonged isolation, the Hudson's immune systems are unable to cope with Western diseases like measles and tuberculosis. The Hudson youth seem to be caught between a rock and hard place. At a young age, Hudson children usually bear the scars of the bush, the harsh lessons of the wild. Increasingly, children are being sent to school and are losing their ability to survive the way their ancestors did, and Hudza children don't flourish in the Western schooling system. The Hudza's current situation of disease, land degradation and segregation is not far from a past already written on the Great Plains of America centuries ago. The Hadzeb tribe traditionally made their clothes from natural materials found in their environment. They crafted clothing from animal hides and skins, using techniques such as tanning and softening to transform rock hides into wearable garments. Animal skins were carefully prepared and sewn together using bone needles and animal sinew as thread. For instance, the Hadzeb men often wore loincloths made from animal hides, while the women wore skirts made from softened and decorated animal skins. They adorned themselves with jewelry made from shells, beads, and other natural materials found in their surroundings. In recent times, due to increased contact with neighboring communities and the influence of modernization, the Hadzeb tribe has incorporated some modern clothing into their attire. They may acquire clothing items such as t-shirts, shorts, and other garments through trade or interactions with nearby communities. However, it is important to note that the Hadzeb still maintain their traditional clothing practices and continue to create and wear their traditional attire as a way of preserving their cultural heritage and identity. I'm <laughs> 
Kindly don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe to our channel so that you can get notified every time we upload a new video like this.
The root two bars are roasting placed directly on fire for like 5 minutes until it's ready to peel and eat the inner succulent parts. I ate one of the stem tubers and it had a lot of fibers and tasted almost like slightly roasted potato with bushy taste. One main lesson that can be learned from the Hadzeb way of life is the importance of deep connection and harmonious coexistence with nature. The Hadzeb people have thrived for centuries by intimately understanding and respecting the natural world around them. Their close relationship with the environment teaches us the significance of living in harmony with nature rather than exploiting it. They demonstrate the value of sustainable practices, ensuring the preservation of resources for future generations. By relying on their deep knowledge of the land, they are able to sustainably hunt, gather, and utilize natural resources without causing harm to the delicate ecosystem. <coughs> the Hadzeb also teach us the value of community and interdependence. Their communal living arrangements and collaborative efforts highlight the strength of unity and cooperation. They share responsibilities, knowledge, and resources, fostering a sense of collective well-being. Additionally, the Hadzeb inspire us to embrace simplicity and find joy in the present moment. Their way of life, free from the complexities of modern society, encourages us to appreciate the beauty of nature, the importance of human connection, and the richness of experiences beyond material possessions. In essence, the Hadzeb teach us that a profound understanding and respect for nature, along with community collaboration and a focus on simplicity, 
can lead to a sustainable and fulfilling way of life. Their wisdom serves as a powerful reminder of our interconnectedness with the natural world and the importance of preserving it for future generations. Yeah, I'm going to see you. 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 I'm going to see you